Ooh, welcome, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Quad Creek. Quad -creek. I'm Hunter McCurran, alongside with my colleague, William Howe Davies, the sports editor here at the GACS Quad. I'm Hunter McCurran, the entertainment editor here at the Quad. Daves, guess global. <laughs> Old pretzels found in Bavaria. Yes, pretzels were unearthed from the ground. Scientists are uh, estimating they're from the 1800s, so Auntie Anne's keeping it real since then. Michigan couple complete visit to every county in Lower 48. Don't know why it's called the Lower 48. It's the continental states all in the mainland, minus Hawaii and Alaska. Yes. Should be just called the continental 48. Don't know why it's called that. But anyways, Clark Griswold ain't got nothing on that little trek. Why would you want to do that? Like, why would you want to visit every county? Every county. It's just so a bucket list weird. type thing? It's weird. Inmate admit sending an Obama threat letter to the wrong address. Am I really surprised that an inmate threat letter was sent to the wrong address here? I mean, we are dealing with an inmate, okay? <laughs> Man rolls in dog waste to try and avoid an arrest. Plan fails, believe it or not. So, that's a real stinky situation. Ex-con admit... <laughs> Ex-con admits robbing some shoe store, same shoe store, excuse me, 15 years later. So here's, here's the story. Man robs a shoe store in about, I think it was like 1996. Gets out of jail 14 years later. Guess what he does the same day, Hunter? He robs that store. Robs the same shoe store and just admitted to it in court and got sentenced again. Guess he didn't really learn his lesson in the pen. No, not at all. Teen stole goat so he could ask girl... Would you go with me to prom? Cops arrest him. Or, they're interested. I like the effort. Very creative, but a little too creative. You gotta stay within the raw. So, um... Zapatero. ¿Qué opina usted del gobierno de Zapatero? He goes to Milton. Shout out to Milton. Go Eagles. I saw a thing on Twitter. I don't know if it's true about this, but it was his ex-girlfriend's uncle's goat. What? So... Just an awful situation. I'm going to say that kid has know. about zero brain cells. I don't know what his okay. idea was on that. He like, what was going to happen not after thinking, that asking? Not thinking. Seven year old, 75-year-old woman was attacked by a rabid, kid, rabid raccoon and then strangled it. She said she could not get away. This fine lady does not need anyone to carry her groceries across the street. I can tell you that much right now. <laughs> That's for right? sure. Two men filmed risking their lives by hanging from the back of high-speed train. That's a whole lot of risk and a not a lot of reward, okay? Seriously, hanging from the back of a train? What are you getting out of that? little adrenaline rush? Go skydiving. I would, Do something safe. I would bet, like, a lot of my money that those guys were from, like, Middle Europe. That's okay. Like, Ukraine. Like, all those guys <laughs> who do those absurd things are, like, from Ukraine <laughs> or Russia. So they're, like, they're literally... They're not speaking one bit of English always while they're in the back of the train. They're going, I'm talking, fucking, talking, And they're talking. always ripping sakes. That's so true. In those videos. That's so true. And then... I saw a video, the, sorry to get away from this, I saw a video on Twitter the other day of this dude, they're like on a fence, and this, one guy's filming, and this guy goes, like, says whatever language, he says something in whatever language, and he proceeds to jump off the fence, get on train tracks as a train is speeding, and it lays down I like that. I saw that, that too. <laughs> I saw that too. Over. And then he gets up and he goes... <laughs> <laughs> like he felt good about it. Like good performance like, today. Why would like he'd do obviously that? had done that before. That's why he's so. Oh, no. All okay. right, moving on to something even more bizarre. A naked man <laughs> put himself in a box to go from the UK to Australia. So what I saw from the we this website, it was it, this guy was going some for the Olympics. Um, hurt himself. Wanted to get back in time for. It's a book now. It was this is like in the sixties. Wanted to get back for his daughter's birthday and got his wallet stolen, and he decided that he would get into a box naked. I don't know what the naked... I, I don't know what that achieves. <laughs> the naked. And he, How does that add to it? And he went from UK to Australia, so I... I and mean, it worked? I guess he made it for his he daughter's birthday. I mean, a lot of effort. Um, he I wins, guess the naked He wins adds. dad of the year. Dad I guess it just year, kind of, like, adds to it. It's kind of like the, uh, like the, f mm -hmm. the plant they put on, like, the little fake plant they put on top of a steak at a nice restaurant. Oh, yeah. It's just kind of like, oh, yeah, and I was also or like, or like, like, that's just the added bonus. Or like at a hibachi restaurant where they literally just make something out of like a lemon wedge. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, exactly. So, it, no purpose there, but it, you're kind of impressed with yeah, it. You're, you're kind of like, this is nice. And I think like, since it's a book, I think adding the naked part kind of just... Oh, that's bringing a viewership. That's bringing a viewership. What, what, sounds, what sounds more bizarre? 
naked man gets in a box or a clothed, clothed man, man gets naked. naked. Obviously, exactly. it's more exotic. <laughs> it's weird. All right, moving into GAC news, this great campus that we like to call Great Atlanta Christian School. It's got a little bit of a little controversy, a little prama. Yeah. Promposal started this week. Dylan Kearney kicked it off with enthusiasm, a nice banner in the quad. It was impressive. Sid prom. I'm pretty sure it's still hanging there. Let's get nice. somebody on that. Um, but, Dave's. I'm waiting to hear about your promposal. I want to see what's going on there. I don't know. Uh, there's a wild, out. there's a wild polar bear on the loose. Hunter spent his first paycheck. Didn't, I did not spend my whole did, first paycheck on it. Didn't even think about taking his girlfriend out to eat with the money, but I, decided to buy a polar bear costume. First off, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> it was seven. Oh, it, my paycheck. Woo! I'm getting okay. Hey, we're firing shots back yeah, and forth. Here. This is Pacquiao Mayweather. Uh, Moving on there. Let's go. Um, Katie Irwin. Article uh, written by the Great Atlanta Christian School, whomever. Uh, yeah, who, star- who does write this? I don't know. I, I couldn't tell you. Maybe Barney Atwater since he does everything. Man's does elite. everything. But um, Katie Irwin named the star student, named her te- a star teacher, Donna Love, Miss Love. Great teacher. Love her. No pun intended. No, nah, a lot of love going on around here. Wow. But um, yeah, she named her the star teacher. Star student, go Cox. I just saw her post today, actually, in the USC class of 2019. So I am, uh, you know, anticipating her, see, uh, you know, on the campus next year. So, Katie, see you next year. That was nice. <laughs> Spring sports are doing well. And also, seniors started voting for their superlatives. I'm up for best smile. It's not going to win. In friendly. Okay, first off. Okay. What are you? What are you? I, I was hoping they were going to have best legs this year, and I was definitely going to win that one, that's for sure. Your legs are the weirdest things known to man. We just okay, ladies and this. gentlemen, I know you're excited because Show it's legs. spring season, and these babies, unlike Dave's, I don't have to shave my legs. They're <laughs> naturally uh, unshaved. Uh, your, legs, your legs are the skinniest things I've ever seen, but they're like deformed because there's just a gigantic mass above your patella. It's powerful. That's power. No, it's not. Anyway. All right. Here with producer Kyle, who is proud of his half Jewish roots. Kyle, what's a Hebrew word of the day? Your Hebrew word of the day is yente, which means female gossip. Take that, uh, you know, with a grain of salt since it's a uh, prom season. Shalom, guys. And that about wraps up the fourth edition of the Quad Quick Hit from producer Kyle, Eric Georges, Mr. Jeremy Beach from downstairs, the man, the myth, the legend, inspiring us every day. I'm Will Davies for Hunter McCurman. Remember, it's a great day to be a Spartan, y'all. Goodbye now. When you're hold up, hold up, hold up. you know the thing in movies where wait, hold up. What's up? You know the thing in movies where they slide across the hood of a car like they're gonna chase you? Yeah, like they, uh, like in 21 Jump Street. Yeah. Or in um, you know, all the time in these houses. Yeah, yeah. And they go. All right, let's go get these boys. <laughs> or like this. Just <laughs> 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 try. It. What are you doing? <laughs> doing it. Yeah. 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 All right. Okay. That's a whole lot of risk and a whole lot of award. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know what I just said. I meant to say. All right.